Mary from SVG Cuts and I'm here today with some really fun Valentine's projects that are all brand new and Valentine's is one of my favorite crafting holidays. I probably say that about every holiday but you gotta love all the really fun red and pink and hearts and glitter and I really love it because I feel like you can go completely crazy with glitter and sparkle and bling and all that stuff so it's a lot of fun and pretty much no matter what kind of paper you pick out it's gonna be really really pretty and really fun too. So this time I came up with some really cool pop-up cards because I haven't really branched out into pop-up cards all that much really in the past. So I figured out how to make a really fun, really dimensional, cool pop-up card. And once you see how simple the inside of it is, you're gonna be like, wow, that's really cool. You basically just put two pieces together and then you decorate the, the little front part of it. And also the front of the card too is really cute. So I'm really excited about that and also this pop-up card too, which has a nice heart in the middle of it. So you could do how I've done it here with the, the bee and the honey comb design with the bee on the heart. Or you could do something different on the front and just use the heart in the middle, which is really cool because it pops out. And no matter who you give it to, they're going to be like, wow, that's, you know, that's really fun, especially if they're a, a child or a kid at heart or whatever. So we also have our really cute little Valentine house. It's just a nice, simple, real simple little house. It doesn't take very long to put together and you can fill it up with some goodies. I was at Joanne Fabrics looking for glitter paper and I found some fun socks and you know, some candy or really anything that is festive is gonna be really fun to give someone inside there. And it does have vellum windows. So if you wanted to put some electronic LED tea light candles inside, that would be cute too or just a fun little gift and it makes a really cute little decoration to have out. You can put it away with your your Valentine decorations if you have any or, or what have you. So we also have our cute little blossom top heart box and I made it so that the lid comes off so that you don't have to mess around with the top too much. Like once you once you get it folded right you don't have to keep unfolding it and refolding it in order to open the box which I think is good. So finally, we have our cute little conversation heart boxes, which are shaped just like the real thing, which is real fun. And there's three different little captions on there. And if you want to use glitter on top, you can also, or just make them more simple or whatever. So those are fun to put some candy in also. So the paper that I used this time is by Doodlebug Design. And they always make such really fun, colorful, simple cute paper. I think they're like the masters of cute. So their Valentine paper is of course extremely colorful and extremely cute. So that's a lot of fun to work with. And they also always have really fun little little blings. So I had a lot of fun with their little heart-shaped sparkles. And then I thought I might as well show you guys the vellum that I use, which I actually got on Amazon.com. It's by Graphics, G-R-A-F-I-X. And I always pick up vellum, you know, just by the single sheet when I'm at the craft store. But I saw this online and it's just a nice assortment of different colors of vellum. So they had, they have pink in here, which is what I used for my windows in my little house. So if you're looking for a nice assortment of colored vellum, I think it's a pretty good deal and it's pretty easy to just order. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how all these items go together. So let's get started. First of all, for our I Love You pop-up card, it's really simple, like I was saying, and the main part of it is just these two pieces. So the outer part is just a plain old card base, and then the inside part is the pop-up. So you want to fold it so that it goes like this. So you can make your folds go in the same direction that mine are going in. And then all you wanna do is glue it right into place. And I think the easiest way to do that is to put glue all over one half of it, all over this side, and get it positioned in the right place. And then go ahead and fold it over, add your glue on this side, and fold it into place so that it's nice and centered. Then you can go ahead and decorate your three parts, your three hearts here, your I love you, and you can glue those. Once they're decorated, you can glue those right onto these little panels here. So to do that, you just put some glue on the face of it and just pop that right on with the decorations already on it. And then you can go ahead and put your little hearts back here if you want to do that too. And I took some 
some bling and I outlined my hearts, which I thought was really cute too. So for the other pop-up card, it's also really simple. The main part of it is just these two pieces. And again, the outside is just a plain old card. And then the inside is your pop-up. So to do that, we want to fold these folds like this. And just carefully get those going in the right direction. So once you've got yours going the same way as mine, you can go ahead and put glue on this whole side and position it so that it's nicely centered. And then you can fold it over, add some glue on this side, and make sure that it's still nice and centered and glued into place. Then you can go ahead and add your heart in the middle. And if you want to use this panel, it's kind of more decorative that way too. And you can glue that right in the center also. Next for our heart blossom box, I'm going to put together the bottom, which is super simple. It's just these two pieces and then the bottom and the liner. So first we want to just glue these two side pieces together and they are identical. So it doesn't matter which one you glue to the other one. And then we'll close it up by doing the same thing with this other side tab. And then we basically just want to glue the bottom in place. And you can tell which, which of these two is the bottom by, you can see that one of them is a little bit smaller. That's the liner that's going to go in at the end. So this is the bottom. It's the larger one. And we just want to glue this right into place. And the easiest way to do that is to just go ahead and put glue all over these tabs, making sure that your glue goes all the way out to those little corners. And you get a nice thin little even layer of glue. And then we just want to put that right into place. And before it's completely dry, you can kind of adjust it so that it's perfectly positioned. And then flip it over, push down from the inside, and then we can go ahead and glue the liner into place to finish it off and make it look real nice. Next for the lid of our heart blossom box, we've got two pieces that look like this. And the way that you want to start is to just go ahead and crease all of these folds, first of all. And there is a diagonal fold here on each side. And then once you've got all your folds folded, we want to fold those diagonal ones the opposite way. And you can go ahead and do that to both pieces and then glue them together side to side. So I've got a nice little thin even layer of glue. And then I'll go ahead and close it up by doing the same thing over here. And then there is no more glue necessary. It's just a matter of folding it into a little swirly, like fan type of shape. So to do that, <coughs> I kind of just want to Play around with it a little bit with each of those folds going in the direction that you folded them in. You might have to kind of go around in a circle and just sort of get them going in the right direction. And then, there we go. Now the first time I did that it took me a little bit longer, so if it if it takes you a little bit longer than it just took me, it's okay. It's not you. It's just a little, little bit of a brain teaser, but it looks super cute when you put it on. And I think it looks cute also if you, I use some double-sided tape to put some ribbon around the edge and tie it in a little knot. So next for our conversation heart boxes, I've got the lid cut out for one of them. And all three of them are the same except for the caption on top, so they all work the same way. And the, the lid and the bottom are also 
the same, except obviously the lid is a little bit larger so it fits on top and the bottom is a little bit taller. But they go together the same way, so I'm just gonna put together the lid. So the nice thing about these captions is that you don't have to glue each little letter into place. There's just these two layers. You glue those together and there's your caption. So in your extras folder, if you would like to add this layer of glitter like I did, you can look in your extras folder and you can put that right on top too. So that just leaves us with these two shapes and one of them is very slightly larger than the other. You really have to kind of feel and see, okay, this one is larger, so that is going to be on the top and the smaller one is gonna be on the inside. So this is a little bit different than the way that I usually do projects. We wanna start with the smaller one and put the larger one aside. So then that leaves us also with this strip here. And as you can see, there's a, one little score line there, and there are, there's two little lines here just for guidelines, but we don't want to fold those two lines. So let's start by putting some glue on that side tab and gluing that into place. And you can see there, on yours you can probably see, there's two little score lines just to help you line up where you're gluing it. And then, as that's drying, we want to fold these nice and firmly over so that we're creating a nice straight line where they're folded. And as you can see, there there's two that are really, really skinny and tiny. Those are going to be going right here. So once all of your little teeth are folded over, Here's the two tiny ones. We know that that's at the top, so this is going to be the shape of our heart. So what I want to do next is actually flip this over, and we're going to put our heart in from the inside, because I think it's a little easier that way. It kind of holds the shape of the heart as opposed to gluing the other piece on the front. So what we want to do is put a nice little line of glue around the whole edge of this heart. And we wanna make sure that the glue goes really close to the edge. And you, you can see that I put it on the pink side because that's gonna be going face down. So I can put it into place here. And then I wanna be sure that those two tiny little teeth up at the top are lined up with the top of my heart. And I forgot to grab a piece of scrap paper to put this face down on top of. It's nice if you have a piece of scrap paper to put down and then lay your heart down on top of that so you don't get glue on your work surface. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pushing down with my finger to get those guys into place at the top of my heart, and then all I'm doing is just pushing down from the inside onto all these other little little teeth. So there is the front of my heart, and all that's left to do is glue this right onto the front, and then I can glue my little cute caption right into the center also. Now finally for our Valentine house, it's nice and simple, and it is made up of these two pieces, which are the same, those are the sides. And I'm just doing the bottom of the house right now. Let's take the lid off for later. So we've also got the front and the back, which are the same. And we've got the bottom and the liner. So you want to go ahead and decorate the faces of your house. So as you can see, the front has maybe we can put the fox on at the end if you're going to do that. And you also probably want to put anything that's like dimensional on at the end. But as far as flat stuff goes, we want to go ahead and put these panels on and your window frames and anything that's flat on the sides of your house and on the front. We also want to go ahead and put the vellum on the inside of the windows, if that's what you, you want to do. You want to go ahead and glue that into place behind your two windows. And then once you have your, your pieces decorated, we can go ahead and glue them together side to side. 
So it's kind of a matter of personal preference if you want to put glue on this long tab and this tiny tab, or if you want to just start with only the long tabs. I kind of like to just start with these long tabs first so that I can keep everything kind of flat. It's nice and easy to lay it down on my work surface and push down. So that is what I'm going to do. If you want to also glue those, those small tabs at this time too, you can. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see, I'm just gluing them side to side. And now I'll just glue my final piece here to this side. And I'm just doing my best to line it up nice and straight. So now I can go ahead and glue this final side into place. And again, yours will be already decorated. Mine is plain because I'm just keeping it simple so I can show you how it goes together. So now at this point, I can go ahead and get some glue on these little, little small tabs and glue those into place to finish off the top of my house. So you can go ahead and put some glue on each little tiny tab and glue those into place as well. And once those are glued into place, you can flip your, your house over. And there are two rectangles. One is a little bit larger than the other one. This is the larger one. And you just want to glue that into place on the bottom. So to do that, I just put a, a nice thin, even layer of glue on all these tabs, going all the way out to the corners. And you can be even more careful with your glue. And we'll just glue that larger rectangle right onto the bottom. And then once it's positioned nicely, you can flip it over and push down from the inside and then glue your smaller rectangle on the inside to finish it off. Now finally for our roof of our Valentine house, you can see it's nice and cute, it's sturdy, and it's also finished off on the inside nicely. So. What we want to do is take a look at the main part of our house, and we've got our chimney, which is all one piece, and we've got the front, which has a little heart cut out, and the back, which does not have a heart cut out, and then the two sides of our roof. And as you can see, there's a rectangle here where the chimney is going to go through. So let's start by putting our little chimney together. And as you can see, I went ahead and folded all these little score lines, but on the bottom of my chimney, I want these to actually go the opposite way. So I can go ahead and do that now. And I can also go ahead and put all my little decorative panels in place right now too. There are five. So as you can see, I used glitter paper on mine. It looks super cute. And once you have your panels in place, you can go ahead and start to put your chimney together. So I put some glue on that long side tab and I'm gluing it into place. And then I just want to put glue on these three tabs up at the top here. And then I will fold the top into place. And again, your chimney will already have the decorative panels glued into place right now. Or you could add them after you put it together, it's not that big of a deal. So if you've got a, a pencil or something handy, you can reach down if you can't reach with your finger and push those from the inside. So there's our chimney. Let's set that aside for a second. <clears throat> and we can go ahead and take these two large pieces. And as you can see, they look almost the same, except obviously this rectangle here. And then this tab at the top is a little bit different than the other one. So that's where we want to put our glue. and then put the other part of the roof right into place there. So now it's just a matter of 
being sure that we have it, you want to make sure it's facing like this with the chimney hole over there. And then you want to grab the front, which has your heart in place. And I went ahead and glued my vellum behind the heart. And at this point, you should probably go ahead and put your decorative panels on the front of your pieces. So that would be this cute little paper here and this pretty paper and on the back and on the side. So we want to save the interior panels for the end. So once you've got your decorative panels on your pieces, we can go ahead and start to glue the roof together. And I just want to put these into place. It's nice and straightforward. And you just want to line it up as best you can. Make sure it's nice and straight. Give it a little chance to dry. And then put that second tab into place. And then I'm just going to work my way around my roof doing the same thing on all four sides. And once again, your roof will have your decorative panels in place already. Mine is plain just to show you how it works. And it's nice because pretty much at any time you can kind of lay it flat on your work surface if you need to so you can push down from the other side. And now we just want to put the back into place. Same exact process here. And there we go. My glue is a little out of control. I'm sure yours, you're being more meticulous with yours. Is, and it's going to be uh, even nicer. So now all that's left to do is put this final seam together here. And one more tab. And now we can put our chimney through this hole here. So to do that, I want to put glue on this side of all four of these tabs. And again, you can obviously take your time with your glue even more. And then you can kind of take a look and see, okay, this is the way it should be going. So let's go ahead and pop that through the top. It seems like it's a little, a little tight, but that's okay. You got it. And I'm just pulling it into place. So I'm just making sure that this tab is lined up properly. And then I can just push the rest of it right into place. So there's our roof and our chimney and yours will be decorated on the outside. And at this point, if you want to add any fun bling or anything that's more dimensional, you can put that on too. And then all that's left to do is put the interior pieces into place. So as you can see, there are, there's one that has a, a heart cut out of it, which goes on the inside of the front, and a similar one without the heart on the back. And then these two pieces here, which look like this. And mine, mine's a little ripped actually, but you get the idea. Basically, you just want to put glue on this whole surface and then just put that right inside here and then the same thing on the other side which hides this hole this hole over here where the chimney is so there you have it super fun valentine's project for valentine's day i hope you have a lot of fun and you love making all these cutesy fun projects as much as i do so if you do you'll have to share a picture on our facebook wall or in our forum or via instagram pin it on pinterest or put it on your blog really anywhere we always love to see your projects and so does everyone else so thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting! 
Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.